Hey guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how to plot properly as well as use range estimates. Um, a common misconception in this game is the use of the statimeter. Uh, the Type 7, nor did any other U-boat, actually incorporate a statimeter. That was more of an American uh, tool along with sonar and um, radar. Uh, the Germans used estimations or estimates um, and also the uh, markings on their periscope to get distance. And um, they used estimations to get also their speed of enemy uh, vessels as well as um, angle off bow. And the two biggest tools you'll want to use... Uh, when using a U-boat is really your your eyes just estimates and plotting. Um, I don't know how many people actually plot in this game, but it's really useful when you uh, start to use it more. Because um, ships do change course in this game, especially now that there's AI U-boats, courses will change. Um, sometimes they'll change course just randomly. So plotting is definitely a good thing to know how to do. And I'm going to try and show that with this uh, small little convoy here. Um, and we'll just go from there. Um, so right now I'm just getting the course so I can intercept this group of ships, and then that's when I'll start showing, um, talking about plotting, uh, which I have plenty of videos on already, and then using range estimates. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. So I'll be here in about an hour and they'll be there in two. So let's go ahead and get to it. Herr Kaloy. Schneller, schneller! Tanks anblasen. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Zu Befehl. auf E-Motor. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Herr Kaloy, Kapitän, Herr Kaloy. Bestätigt. Let's do a quick hydrophone check. Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. Wechseln auf, auf E-Motor. E Schiffsschrauben, Herr Kaloy. Alright, so we are still an hour ahead. Looking good so far. And perfect, right on time. Tanks anblasen! Auf Zero 
Tiefe gehen. Tanks anblasen! Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. Auf Seerohrtiefe, Kaloi. Station. Oh wow, these are some nice size ships here. It's a see through. Delphi gotta get those two right there. I guess this would be a good time to start the range estimation. Uh, let's see. So, like I said earlier, the Germans did not have the stat meter. Everything was done by the eye or with the reticles here. Um, let's see. Now, just off of estimation, uh, I would say maybe this ship is about six or seven kilometers away. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and plot that. So we'll take our bearing and our range, bearing of one through zero. And make sure you keep track of the time that you take the bearings. Um, that way you can keep track of the increments between each one. We said about six kilometers. Who 
then let's take another bearing in five minutes just to make it quick. Bestätigt. Now we have them at a bearing of 130 still, but they've obviously gotten closer, so we'll say a range of about, looks like, and I'd say maybe 4,000, 4,500. I'd say between 4,500 and 5,000, that's what I'll go with. And one thing I'll say is it's a lot harder to get estimates when you're looking at a zero angle off bow. So um, it's a lot easier to estimate the range of a ship when you can see its broadside. Um, so you'll find that if you're doing it from head on like this, your estimate may be off by a good bit, but it's still fine because you're just trying to draw, um, get a general course because as the ship gets closer your estimates will get better um, now if this ship was starboard or port side and uh, had an angle off about like 90 degrees or 80 it'd be a lot easier to get an estimate because i could compare the size to you know my scope here i could you know um generally around here is about four thousand then around here is about three thousand thirty five hundred and around here is about 2,000, maybe 2,200. And around here, we're looking at about 1,000. So um, let's keep that in. So we'll take another bearing in five minutes. It's around one two zero, and at this point, I'd say it's definitely probably three three thousand, maybe less. You can see it's definitely a lot less, but that's fine though. bearing is good so you said about 3,000 not too bad not too bad so one thing you can tell by these lines here is the ship went from here to here and then to here So generally what that tells you, when your lines are like that, when they're more consistent and stacked up on each other, that means the ship's generally heading straight towards you. But you'll notice as the ship gets closer, your lines start to protrude more like this. They'll go like, they'll have wider, there'll be more of a width between them and they'll get closer. Then they'll get consistent, consistent, 
and then they'll start to spread out again as the ship gets farther and farther away. And what this tells you is, okay, based on if this were to be plotted, you know that the ship was actually getting closer and then when they got even, the ship is basically on a course where it's parallel with you. So you'll know it's parallel here, here, and as the lines start to become more stacked, you know that the ship is heading away from you, if that makes sense. Um, and they seem a little weird, but that's generally how a lot of plotting is done. Uh, it's a lot harder from head on, as you can see, but this is basically what was used to derive a course. And what you could really get from this is that, okay, this ship is on a general course of east, you know, maybe east northeast or east southeast, but its general course is eastward. Um, and from there, you would then plot a course to get closer, and then from there, plot your attack. Um, so that's normally how that works. Let's see. But at this stage in the game, we really don't have to worry about that too much because we already had a general course from the contact report and we intercepted it perfectly, as you can see. And now we're just waiting for a bow shot. And with that, I'll show you how that range estimate will work as well. Seerohrtiefe. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. And another neat feature is the uh, they don't have magnetic torpedoes in this game or a magnetic uh, selection. But I know the depth has been a little tricky in this game. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But we're gonna actually test that out real quick. Uh, let's see. This is a Liberty class. A C3, it's C3 class. Okay. So the best kills to get are one hit, obviously. And in order to do that, you basically want to hit midship and break the back, as one would say. Um, and that's basically when you strike at the bottom of the hull of the ship. Um, magnetic, The magnetic setting is perfect for this because it allows you to shoot a torpedo directly under the boat. But since that's not implemented, what we're going to try and do is get as close to it as we can. So the C3 is pretty deep. And as you can see, it goes down to about 8.78. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our torpedoes to about, uh, let's try six. Rohr 1, bewässern! And we'll also set the speed to its highest since these are T1s and they leave a bubble wake. We want them to be as quick as possible. Gonna get left side probably 90. Now the range is definitely gonna be within 2,000 since we did our estimates earlier. too much war material on them though.
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. So I can tell you right now, based on how much of the scope that it's taking up, with no zoom, that's easily probably going to be about, let's see, the scaling in this game is really odd, but that should be about 2,000. And let's see, yeah, it should be about 2,000, at least 2,200. Schneller, schneller. I would guess two thousand on that one, or at least fifteen hundred. It's weird coming from Silent Hunter to this game. Scaling is really weird. Zwei bewässern. Rot 2, fertig. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Looks like it went underneath. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. If we launch it at three. Pro drei, bewässern. Bewässert. Los! Rohr 4, bewässern! Rohr 4, fertig!
Das Schiff wurde getroffen. I set my torpedo speed to the wrong number. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Kapitän? Legen Sie den Kurs an! Schneller! Schneller! Herr Kaloy?
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Los! Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Schneller, schneller!